Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. So today all talking about how Luffy defeat Kaido. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy seeing this anime reviews and want to keep them coming the best thing, you can do is smash that like button and if you haven't be sure to subscribe and this is crucial hit that notification bell or you will miss future anime videos. At this point, I think a lot of people agree that at some point in the battle, Kaido's scar will be reopened. However, the one who opens the scar won't be Luffy or Zoro. During Chapter 992, the Scabbards all attacked Kaido's scar with the same technique Odin used to open it 20 years prior. However, what if that final attack did do damage? More specifically, what if that final attack did just enough damage that, if someone else were to push Kaido to his limits, the scar would open on its own? My theory is that the final attack done by the Scabbards in 992 will end up being a Chekhov's gun that will take effect once Kaido accumulates enough damage over the course of the battle. Kaido's scar will open on its own at a critical moment, which will give Luffy the opening he needs to defeat Kaido once and for all. I think this would work for a few reasons. Firstly, Luffy wouldn't specifically need to be stronger than Kaido for him to be defeated this way. He'd only need to be strong enough to push Kaido to the point that the scar opens on its own. Furthermore, this would be a really poetic way for Kaido to go down. One of the main themes of Wano is loyalty, which is mainly explored through Odin and the Scabbards. The Scabbards chose to use Odin's attack out of loyalty to their lord, and if that very loyalty is what ultimately makes Kaido's defeat possible, it would be a pretty conclusive payoff. Especially after Kinnaman cried tears of shame, thinking that everything they've done was for nothing.